Hello, this is going to be my quick review of Fedora 40 Mate Compas spin. So this is a different spin of Fedora that's not the typical GNOME version that you might have seen of Fedora 40. Uh, I'm on the website right now for the fedoraproject.org slash spins slash mate. I'll put a link to that in the description. So the Mate Compass spin bundles the Mate desktop with Compass Fusion. Mate desktop is a lightweight, powerful desktop designed with productivity and performance in mind. The default Windows Manager is Marco, which is usable for all machines and VMs. Compass Fusion is a beautiful 3D windowing manager with Emerald and GTK Plus theming. If you want a powerful, lightweight Fedora desktop with 3D eye candy, you should definitely try the Mate Compass spin. So th that's pretty awesome. I had to try this out. So let's log in and get started. So now we're logged in. The thing I like about this Mate desktop is it just kind of brings me back to when I first tried Linux desktop for the, for the very first time. And I think it was Ubuntu back in like 2006. It had to be something or it had to be around that time because I was in my first house and I remember trying that out when it was on a CD that you could get in the mail. And it, it, this just throws me back to how it felt using that desktop. And it was really cool. And ever since then, I use Linux. I, I use it on like my personal laptop. So let's go to check it out and see what kind of apps it's got installed on the Mate spin, the Mate Compass spin of Fedora 40. So if we go to applications, we got accessories, got character map, compass fusion icon. We're not going to mess with any of the tweakings. I'm running this in a virtual machine. So I'm just going to run it the way it is right now. We got Gnote. Gosh, is that like Tomboy Notes? I remember Tomboy Notes was, was one of my favorite apps. Yes, okay, it kind of kind of reminds me of that. Let's see. It kind of glitched out on me <laughs> for a second there. So I closed uh, G Notes, and then we're going to go back here. We're going to do the next one, which is Mate Calculator. Uh, everything's really responsive. And again, this is in a virtual machine, not on bare bones hardware. This is running 2 gigs of RAM, so very minimal. Very old spec comparable, I guess you could say. Uh, let's see, we got Mate Font Viewer. Let's check out the Font Viewer. Cool, it's kind of just like a like a little font manager, I guess. And uh, I'm assuming you can install and remove fonts. That's cool. Let's close that. Seems to have a lot of stuff right out of the box. Mate Search Tool. So it's just like a find file finder. Okay. Passwords and keys. Pluma. Edit text files. Let's see. That everything is snappy. This is really fast. Cool. It's got find and replace. Very cool. It's my favorite kind of text editor. Simple. Now let's go to got XF burn. That's a CD burner. Take a screenshot. Let's see if it has a select area to grab. Take a screenshot. Very, very fast. Wow. I love it. Okay. Let's go to the next menu. That's graphics. Document Scanner, I have Mate Image Viewer, Mate Color Selection. Okay, cool. It's got the eyedropper and you can select desktop colors. You could, you could select outside of the app. That's really cool. That's handy. We got Internet. We got FileZilla. That is interesting to be installed out of the box. I mean, it's an open source program, but really cool that you don't have to go reach for it I'll reach out on the web for it. It's just, it's there. It's installed. If you access FTP sites or secure FTP sites frequently. Got um, Firefox, HexChat, Thunderbird, Transmission, BitTorrent Client. You got Office, Atrial Document Viewer. I, I can't remember that one. I mean, look, the icon looks familiar, but I'm assuming you can open up PDFs with it and the simple multi-page document viewer. Very cool. Let's go back to Office. We got Mate Dictionary, LibreOffice Suite installed. This is this has got everything you need really. Parole Media Player, Pulse Audio, Volume Control, Sound, XF Burn. Was that just under? Was it under Office or Accessories? XF Burn. Yes, it was under Accessories, and it showed up under Sound and Video. System Tools. Blivet GUI, that's a partitioning tool. Kaja, or Kaja, I don't know how you'd say it. It's a file, you know, file viewer, file explorer. Very snappy, very quick. 
what's this button right here? Stop loading the current. Oh, okay, so if you're pulling up a bunch of stuff and you need to stop it from loading, let's close that. Let's go back to system tools, disk management. And we got gparted. Wait, so we got more than one partition manager. Isn't this a partition manager? Livet GUI? Let's see. Was I, am I wrong? Oh, okay. It's just, maybe it just shows you the storage volumes in a different way. Now you can delete different devices and stuff. And you can make a, you can add a new device. Okay, well, you got plenty of disk, disk tools, disk management tools here. That's really cool. Let's go back to system tools. Dconf editor, I'm not going to mess with that. Got disk management, I already said that. Log file viewer, Mate disk usage analyzer. This is like the disk usage analyzer disk tool distro, apparently. Mate terminal, Mate system monitor. Let's see how much RAM we're using. Not even a gig. That's that's about right. I figure, you know, 800 megs, something like that, like I'd be using, and it's using a little bit. But, I mean, again, it's running in a virtual machine. Don't know what it would do on bare bones hardware, but I'm impressed. Let's go back to system tools, power statistics, problem reporting, and SE Linux troubleshooter. I'm not going to mess with any of those. Preferences, we got hardware, got mouse, do all your preferences here, network proxy, look and feel, other, personal, nothing interesting under there right now that we need to look at. DNF Dragora. I personally, when I install any Fedora type distro, I just use the terminal to just go sudo DNF update and then hit yes. And it updates everything on the system in one pass. I find that to be easier, but this is DNF Dragora. It's like a front end for DNF. So you can look up packages, which is really cool. So I would still use it for that, for looking up individual packages later. Mate user manager. Print settings. Let's go see if we can, how easy it is to create a user. You got to unlock the settings. Kind of feels like Apple right here. You got to unlock the the little dialog first. Oh, let's get my music software out of the way. All right, so let's go to add a user. Let's name him Bill. Hi, Bill. We're gonna go standard user. Set the password. We'll make his password Bill. Oh, it needs to be eight more than eight characters. I made it bill twice. <laughs> It'll let you generate one. Let's do Billy Bill one two three. Billy Bill one two three. Okay, and that was easy. That was very easy. Easier than Windows than creating user in in the uh, comp management.msc Microsoft console or whatever. This is a lot this is a lot easier, I think. So let's see, we got system. We got control center. Let's go there. This is a really simple, nice looking control panel. Let's kind of click through here real quick. I'm not gonna mess with again, I'm not gonna mess with the 3D effects, but it does have compass config settings manager. If I recall that's the tool where you can mess with um, effects and animations and stuff like that. Enable desktop effects. Here we go. Okay, I lied. I'm going to mess with it a little bit. Enable animations. Look at this. Right out of the box, it's got all this cool stuff. Application switcher, cube effects. Oh my gosh. I can mess with this for... Let's bring back some memories. So let's go to close. That window kind of just faded away. That was really neat. So, wow. All in all, this is really cool. I, I'm digging it. Maybe I'll install this on some bare bones hardware and see how it runs. I'm kind of curious. Just such a dis distro hopper. I can't help myself. And this is really fun. So thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. Thanks.